when Libertarian nominee Gary Johnson was asked to name any foreign leader he admired, he drew a blank. Who's your favorite foreign leader? Who's my favorite? Any, just name anywhere in the country, any one of the continents, any country. Name one foreign leader that you respect and look up to. Anybody. I guess I'm having an Aleppo moment in the former, former president of Mexico. But I'm giving you the whole I world. Know, I know, I know. Running mate Bill Weld tried to rescue him. I'm, I'm having a brain. I'm well, having name a brain anybody. Fox. Zadio. Fox. Say, okay, who's your favorite foreign leader? Thank Get him off the hook. Johnson's campaign manager responding to the moment in a Facebook post, writing, this is gotchaism at its finest. Johnson later tweeted out a new spin on it, saying, it's been almost 24 hours and I still can't come up with the foreign leader I look up to. This latest stumble comes a month after this, Johnson's original Aleppo moment. What would you do if you were elected about Aleppo? About? Aleppo. And what is Aleppo? You're kidding. No. The slip prompted some to say Johnson had disqualified himself from becoming president. I think it's a disqualifying statement, frankly. Yeah, and fair enough. And fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me ask you something because that. it. So will you get out of the race now? <laughs> no. <laughs> and even on domestic policy, Johnson has gotten his facts confused. In response to the New York and New Jersey bombings and the stabbings at a mall in Minnesota. Well, first of all, just grateful that nobody uh, got hurt. 29 people were injured in the bombings, nine in the stabbings. Johnson later tweeted he misspoke. And then there was this bizarre moment in an interview with MSNBC. I think I could stand up there for the whole debate and not say anything and, and emerge as a leader. Despite all that, a new endorsement tonight for Johnson from the Detroit News. It's the first time in its 143-year history that the paper has not chosen a Republican. But this year, they say they couldn't bring themselves to endorse Donald Trump, urging voters to instead cast a conscience vote for Gary Johnson. Meanwhile, Johnson is polling at 8 percent in CNN's poll of polls, and even higher in some key swing states. He's especially doing well with millennials, a critical voting bloc the Clinton campaign desperately needs. If you vote for someone other than Hillary, or if you don't vote at all, then you are helping to elect Hillary's opponent. And the stakes are far too high to take that chance.